Hello everyone. In this video, we learn about short circuit currents and reactance of synchronous machine. Before to start this topic, we are talking about damper winding and field winding. Synchronous machine has winding so that it has reactances that is leakage reactance axle. Here that is leakage reactance axle. Now what is damper winding? In synchronous machine, damper winding is used for reduces hunting effect and uh, for self starting. In the case of alternator, that is pole so. And here, the aluminium or copper bar conductor are put in slot and which is connected with end ring. And this is damper winding. In the case of alternator. Damper winding is used for reducing hunting effect and in synchronous motor we know that the synchronous motor is not self start so that the purpose of damper winding in synchronous motor is to for self starting and it is also reduces the hunting effect due to presence of damper winding it has some reactance and that is damper winding reactance XD now for the DC excitation field winding are used and the reactance of field winding is field winding reactance XF and XA is armature winding reactances. Now at the time of three phase source circuit at the initially there is a mutual coupling between rotor stator and damper winding so that total reactances of synchronous machine becomes lower because of armature winding reactants, field winding reactants and damper winding reactants are connected in parallel and this total equivalent reactances is given by x d double dash xl plus these three are in connected parallel so that 1 upon 1 upon xa plus 1 upon xf plus 1 upon xd and its value is very lower and this reactance is given by sub transient reactance xd double dash after the two or three cycles the damper winding current reduces so that the damper winding becomes open circuit and so that xd is zero damper winding current died out so that after the two or three cycles damper winding current is died out so that xd becomes zero now total reactance of synchronous machine is xf and xa is parallel and which is connected in series with leakage reactance xf This equivalent reactance is given by XD double XD dash is equal to transient reactance. Here XD dash is equal to XL plus XF and XA is in parallel. That is this reactance is, uh, is for eight, 5 to 10 cycles. After the 5 to 10 cycles, field winding current is decayed so that field winding become open circuit and xf becomes zero so that we can see here xf is zero so that leakage reactance and armature reactance is connected in series and total reactance is given by synchronous reactance xd and xd is equal to xl plus xa from these three different case we can say that the synchronous machine shows different reactances at different point of time after the source circuit here sub transient reactance xd double dash is less than xd dash and is less than xd sub transient reactance is lower compared to transient and transient reactance is lower to synchronous reactance xd due to this different value of reactances the short circuit current graph profile is different 
compared to transient in RL series circuit which is uh, seen in last videos you can see in this video that videos here due to this sub transient reactances the value of initial current the magnitude of this current is large and that is for two or three cycles and these two or three cycles in this period the value of the magnitude of this current is large and this period is known as sub transient period up to two or three cycles now what happened when xd becomes zero it means transient period after two or three cycles xd becomes zero the source circuit currents is try to become symmetrical and this period is known as transient period that is for that is due to for transient reactances and there is this reactance is due to uh, presence of fill winding and its value five times of that short circuit symmetrical uh, steady state short circuit current after the eight or ten cycles uh, approximately five to ten cycles the xf is zero in this uh, period the short circuit current becomes symmetrical after default so that we can see here the profile picture of short circuit current versus time is different compared to transient in RLC circuit due to because of uh, synchronous machine shows different value of reactances at different point of time after default after the source circuit that is the source circuit uh, currents and reactances of synchronous machine now for the exam we note some point in sub transient period in sub transient period that is sub transient period is oc and that is due to damper winding and here that is time is very less because it is for only two or three cycles and its magnitude the value of source trans sub transient source circuit current value is 10 times of that steady state source circuit current and it is about only two or three cycles and transient component is due to fill winding and time is large because uh, time period is 8 to 5 to 10 cycles and magnitude is 5 time of that steady state source circuit current and OB is transient period OC is sub transient period and OA is steady state period in this period the short circuit current becomes symmetrical if uh, you have any doubt then you can comment me and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, press the bell icon so that you can notify my next videos and please share it like it thank you